you can never get tired of tacos. And that's amazing because you can use tacos to both lose weight as well as build muscle at the exact same time and be very toned with it. Now, how does this happen? Well, it happens because you can have basically any type of meat in your taco and that's going to change the flavor and change the seasonings that go along with it every single time. Now, how we're going to lose weight and build muscle at the same time with these tacos is a little bit different story. Now, protein itself is in every type of meat. And that's the, that's the magic trick right there is the protein. Protein will build your muscles after a workout as well as keeping you feeling more full so we can keep your calories down and not eat as much throughout the day. Now, when it comes to the different types of meats that we can have in our tacos, I'm going to cover three different ones. There's ground beef, chicken, and a fish, which is going to use as tilapia. First meat I'm going to cover is ground beef. Now, for every ounce of ground beef, you're going to have four grams of protein. Now, any type of drawbacks that would come from ground beef would pretty much be the fact that if you have too much of it over a long period of time, it's going to raise your cholesterol level, and we all know what happens after that but it's amazing to have because it tastes great you get your protein from it and it's pretty much in every taco you can find anywhere now the next meat i'm going to cover is chicken now for every ounce of chicken you can have eight grams of protein and when it comes to any type of drawbacks it's kind of hard to see because it's good for your cholesterol and keeping that safe and healthy and there's no additives anywhere when it comes to pollution or anything else that's going to give you problems now the only drawback i think really when it comes down to it right now is a temporary one because chicken's expensive at the moment now that's a temporary problem we'll get over it now last but certainly not least one of my favorites is fish tacos in this case tilapia now for every ounce of tilapia you're going to get seven grams of protein. The only drawback from this though is fish in general is going to have high levels of mercury content. So recommended in the United States is that you only have it once or twice a week. Anything more than that, you can start having eczema and then that'll eventually lead to cancer because of the high mercury content. However, there's a workaround if you don't mind having tuna, you can go get the Sunkist brand of canned tuna. And that is so low in mercury content that, that it's basically non-existent. The FDA has like a certain threshold for how much mercury can be in a fish that's going to be sold to be eaten. And obviously we have that problem where you can only have it once or twice a week. Otherwise you'll have pr health problems. Sunkist is actually so far below that, that it's basically non-existent where you will never have those problems. So there you go. Sunkist might be the type of taco that you want if you live in the United States. And so we have these three different types of tacos that we can have. Beef, chicken, tilapia and you can season them and cook them in all these different ways to the point where you will never ever get tired of having tacos and they will help you lose weight by keeping you feeling more full because of the extra protein in them as well as helping you build muscle because once you go work out and have protein after that's going to build your muscle and that's not even getting into the extra protein that you're getting from the other ingredients in the tacos for example, tortillas themselves will have protein in there, especially if you're getting a tortilla that's made with lard. And that's going to have vitamins and minerals because the lard is coming straight from the animal. So when you're having these three different types of tacos, beef, chicken, tilapia, or fish tacos, you can never get tired of them because you can season them and cook them in so many different ways. And even though they have their pros and cons to them, 
you can balance them out throughout the week in a way where you will never have any of those drawbacks happen to you. So obviously, if you know, we don't always have beef, chicken, or tilapia tacos. We also can have cow tongue or cow stomach or any other type of organ in the taco. So if you want me to cover one of those or if you have one that you have in mind already, you can leave a comment and the most popular one or two or three, I will make a video about that and do it the same way here where you can break down the protein, how it's going to help you build muscle, how it's going to affect your health and how much benefits you can get from tacos and how you can just live off of tacos your whole life. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. Adios.